Sir, have you heard we can roam roam? But first, Zeitgeist letting us know once more that they are on track for a full release by the end of this quarter. This small update reposted to their Twitter speaks of huge improvements to the application speed, tweaks to the design, a large marketing campaign under development, and a partnership coming with Akala Karua and their stablecoin. I'm wondering now if we should open a channel in WAG Media to specifically report on prediction markets. Is this a story you'd like to hear more about on the show? Taiga has begun what they're now calling their soft launch with a liquidity event that will earn users Thai airdrops and a place on their token sale whitelist details in this article below. Akala has also been greenlit by the Polkadot Council to use up to a hundred thousand dot for a bug bounty program on the Open Runtime Module Library, which is a library widely used across Dotsama. Mangata is gearing up for their own bootstrapping program. They will not open trading during the event, and as a way to guarantee an MGX reward for those who contribute KSM, they will be limiting deposits to a yet-to-be-determined ratio between the two assets. Should you panic unstake your KSM right away? Uh, we will announce the bootstrap at least one week in at last to give everyone time to unstake their KSM. And if you'd like to share your experience with bootstrapping campaigns, they're looking for opinions in this form. <gasps> Talisman giving away 15 of their commendation metal NFTs. To enter the draw, simply complete these tasks laid out in the Gleam campaign. Also, no confirmation on that dancing crab from last episode, but we did catch an exchange between the team and a member from Darwinia. I'm watching you, Birdo. And another art reveal for Fallow World. Look at this, just gorgeous. And before we get to exploring Rome, we have our man Penin back on the show to report on that Everloot project you may have been hearing so much about. Hey everyone, this week I want to share about Everloot, a dark fantasy RPG project launching in Dotsama. They chose the Remark standard because of its multi-resource and nesting capabilities. Everloot was inspired by the Diablo series and the Loot Project, with further inspiration from the World of Warcraft progression system and minigames. The project is all about building out character classes, creating intricate lore, and making quality, equipable gear for the metaverse. They plan to be compatible with other .sama NFT projects and metaverses such as Skybreach and Exosama, and they have teased some significant partnerships. They've also hinted at some pretty complicated economies, such as housing ownership, pets, and real-world interactions. The project is very ambitious, but I've been encouraged by their frequent updates and community engagement, organic marketing tactics, and solid teasers. They are filling a specific niche that will enrich all metaverses in character lore, which will have a direct impact on gameplay and player investment in their characters. I have a longer article that was done in partnership with C-Saint that you can find on my sub-social page. Awesome, Penin. Thank you, sir. And here we are in Rome. This is version 0.1.0, so we can describe this as having limited functionality, but let's take a look. What is this, an empire for ants? Very beautiful design, however. Over here we have the Etruscan territory, which is segregated from Rome with maybe they're calling this the River Tiber? And this bearded fellow looking back and laughing at our small stature? Well, the joke's on him, because it appears his fortress is already under siege. The eight houses of Rome will work together in this first campaign to annihilate this opponent and maybe give us access to their mountain hole. I mean, we have one as well, but you can never have too many. Entering our own wide open gate, we end up at the foot of the bank, where we can conveniently explore bank holdings and statistics that we can even download as CSV files. We can also perform the actions from the previous UI, including staking, bonding, and now trading in and out of Rome with these assets. Taking a step back, we have this garden? A uh, Roman day keeps the Etruscans away. Not sure yet what that means. This fountain brings us to the marketplace, which will eventually house their item economy, some of which will be granted to those who complete these tasks. I don't believe this is where resources will be sold, however. I think that will be in the bank. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Over here, we have the training grounds, where we are not welcome yet, but hopefully this is where we can upgrade our combat level, which will eventually allow us to leave this land through either of these gates. And that's about it for version 0.1.0, which is great because this application really spins up my computer fans. But it looks like we have a lot of adventure ahead of us. Congrats to the team for getting this far. Finally, I want to wish a very happy Women's Day to the fairer side of crypto. My audience may only be 1% female sirs, but that's up 50% from last month. And if you're a woman who'd like to share the story of Dotsama from your point of view, please consider joining us in WAG Media. We would love to have you be part of this journey which does not seem to stop. So, sir, I'll have to end this episode right here and get started on the next one. Have a great night, everybody.